Hey, Mike, back with you. I shut the, uh, the red candy on. You know, I finished up with the orange, like I was doing when I shut the video off. Then I came in with the red candy and shot the red candy over it. You can see the difference that it makes. It makes a big, big difference. So now what we're going to do is uh, come back in with the chrome yellow. This camera situated here. We're going to bring some more chrome yellow up. We're not going to come up near as far. We're just going to come up here a ways. We've got a mud flap that goes here. I want to get it up probably about here, maybe a few hot spots in here. And then we'll come back in with some uh, orange again, orange candy. So on top of that. So what I've got in my water clips here is I've got uh, chrome yellow. All right, I'm going to use a different template. This is the Diablo. So we're just going to, we're not going to follow the same design. We're going to create a different design. We don't want to, we don't want the same design. We want a different, different design over the top of that. I don't want to get it too dark, but still, I want to leave it somewhat transparent. I want to be able to see what's below it. So I'm not going to go over, you know, super, super heavy because I do want to see what's underneath it. I won't be able to see through it. Okay. Again, I'm coming right around these edges. With some freehand. Take away that stencil look. Basically, it's just dagger strokes that I'm going around these. And here, I'm going to create so, like this one here, it's coming in behind this one. So, I'm putting a, a line around this. I'm going around this here and it's just going to give it that look of, of the one in behind it and you'll really see it when the candy's on it you'll see this other one that's in here coming up in from behind this one One of the deals you just got to play with a lot. You get, you get good at it. Now I'm just going to kind of do a few places here and there.
not going to do much more. That's kind of... I'll leave it at that. I'll put some more yellow right in here. Okay, I can still see through it. I don't know if you can the camera, but I can still see through it. So it's still pretty transparent. Tack rag, we'll go over this. This stuff dries really fast, so you can literally go right over it. Now, the candy you can't. The candy goes on wet, stays wet for a while, so you're going to have to let it dry a while before you can do anything over it. So I got my red candy. I'm gonna clean this gun out in between. In between the last, so I can pour that right back in that. See, this don't have hardener. It's just got reducer in your candy, so I can pour it right back in there and be fine. the orange candy in I already got filtered out reducer and we'll put a little bit of reducer in it put it on put the rag over it give it a good shake and wipe it off here this is a handy little gun I was telling you Couple of videos back where we're using it. This is the uh, LPH 50. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a real, real handy little gun. Perfect for doing these small jobs like this. An airbrush for what I'm doing right here. You know, when I put the candy on, it's it's a little small. It takes to, when you do it, it just takes a while. So it's done like this. And you can get it done pretty quick. Now we'll put that orange candy on over top of this yellow. What I'm doing now is just kind of blowing a little air on it. The purpose of the video here to kind of speed things up a little bit. Now you can see we got the red in behind. Now what we're after here is to get this, this orange glow. So now it's on top of the red. And then we'll come back in one more time with, uh, with yellow again and just kind of hit a few hot spots. We don't want it a lot, a lot of yellow. Just kind of make some hot spots. Now you kind of see the difference. So now we've got two different, it looks like we had all these different layers. So we've got our red. Now on top of that, because we can still see through that, you may not be able to in this video, but you can see through it. I can see right through and see the fire in behind it. 
Now you've got that orange. The next step will come in after this is dried. We'll come back in. We'll make some hot spots here and there. With uh, we'll actually use yellow and white 50/50. Reduce it down a little bit, and that'll give us some hot spots. We'll come over that with some pagan gold, and it'll just make it pop. All right. See you in the next video.